Hey everybody and welcome back. Uh, thank you so much for being here. So today we are going to be taking a look at two of the Barbie Dream Besties that I just got from Amazon today. Uh, I picked my two favorites to get first, which was Renee and Teresa, though of course I love Brooklyn and Malibu as well. I'm really excited to see something this new from Barbie. I don't have any of the Barbie extra minis, though I think that they're really super cute and I love the face molds. I'm just not that big into mini dolls. So the fact that they made these ones where they're the full scale, you know, one six scale fashion doll is really exciting because it's using super cute molds like those mini dolls only on a full size fashion doll. They also come with like little information on the back of their boxes like in G1 Monster High that tells you a bit about the character. So Teresa loves designing video games and leveling up her coding skills. Her dream is to own her own video game company. Her favorite activity are gaming, reading, and gymnastics. Favorite class is calculus, favorite color is coral, and her favorite thing is her headphones. Then we have Renee, who loves vlogging about her two favorite things, skateboarding and trying new foods. Her dream is to host a food and travel show. Her favorite activities are skateboarding, basketball, and painting. Her favorite class is art. Favorite color is purple, and her favorite thing is her laptop. And it's cute because the accessories that these dolls come with are in keeping with their favorite things as listed on the back of their boxes. And there is a show on YouTube Kids uh, that I have not watched with my kids yet, but we will absolutely do that. Now we will take a look at them out of the box. So here we have Teresa. She's probably the one that I've been most excited for. I think she is so pretty. I love that they gave her dimples. I think that they're so cute. And the makeup on these dolls is gorgeous. And I include the eyebrows in that. They're so cute. They fade in from the middle. She has really cute accessories like these little plastic bows that are in her hair on her braid. And she's got her headphones on. Her outfit I think is adorable and it feels like really nice quality as well. Like that's that really almost convincing faux leather that she has on. The hair quality is excellent as well. It definitely feels like Saran. I really like that she has like this cute little bear motif like she comes with a small little bear and she has the little bear headphones on and even her sunglasses have that vibe and we'll take a look at her accessories now. So here they are. She has this cute little gamer backpack and like a keyboard for gaming. I did want to show you that this portion of her outfit is a separate piece so you could use the under mesh shirt for styling and restyling in this top piece as well. Here are her sunglasses that seem to go really well with the little teddy bear that she comes with. They definitely look like they could be made of soft little plushy fur which I think is really cute and unique. Then there's that keyboard up close. It does have Barbie written on the top. And then her little backpack, which is cool. It has like a D-pad and then some buttons, which is just really cute. And another thing I really like are the cell phones that they come with. So obviously that's super cute in its own right. But then it comes with this adorable little case that has this three-dimensional bear on it. Um, it is like a flexible, like it's like a, a firm rubber. And it does have a little thumb hole so you can pose her with it. And then we'll take a look at Renee as well, who is also super gorgeous. She has these super cute earrings and I absolutely love a doll with bangs. I think that her lips are super pretty with her being the darker color towards the middle and then it fades out into a lighter color. She is a super cute and very trendy outfit with like the pockets are longer than the shorts themselves. And then these cute little boots. And she comes straight out of the box holding this little drink accessory which she can slide like four of her fingers into really nicely and hold it for posing which is always a plus. And she does have some tinsel in her hair, which I know is a point of contention for some doll collectors, but I personally like it and I enjoy that it's just on like the purple sections of her hair. And the heart portion of the front of her outfit comes off as well, so you can style her a little bit differently if you desire. 
And I really, I don't actually have any um, Ever After High dolls, but something about their faces is really reminiscent of that for me. I don't know if it's the shape or the eyes, but something there is making me think of Ever After High. And here are her accessories. They're very cute and like very food related. Like she has a very cute background and there's a place to type in your login information. On the front you have the Barbie logo, which is very cute. And it closes as well and also snaps shut, which is, it comes in handy sometimes. She has a slice of pizza that she comes with and then she has a cell phone as well that has its own little case which is just as cute as the first one and we'll look at that. She's got a bag of chips and then she also has this really cute purse that's like a piece of toast with an egg on top which is very cute and of course we have the Barbie logo on the back and the purse does open and I will show you that in a little bit. She also has a pretzel and there is a thumb hole so you can make her carry that and then here is her phone case which is this like ice cream that has a little bite out of it which I just think is very cute and then lastly she has the drink that she was holding when she first came out of the box so here's that purse opened up and as I was doing this uh the sticker that has the the egg on it uh started to peel right up which isn't that big of a deal I can just mod podge that back on but um I definitely wasn't expecting that now I wanted to put the dolls onto stands so you could see them. They don't come with these stands, but uh, these are like the generic stands that I use for all of my dolls and it fits them perfectly. So here's Teresa with all of her accessories on. She's got her book bag on, which she can even wear while on the stand because it fits nicely over a stand. And then here is Renee holding her phone, which is just so cute and sporting her purse, which I need to fix. And then all of her other accessories are at the base of the stand. I think that this is my favorite thing that Barbie has done in a long time. I really enjoy these dolls and they're only $20, which I don't think anyone would complain if they were $25. So I think that the, the $20 price point is uh, very nice. This is me very excited to see how Malibu and Brooklyn are. And I'm just going to show you a couple more videos of these dolls. Like, I want you to see them from the side angle. And if you notice, there is a difference in height there with Renee being taller, which is awesome. And I did not expect it. So I'm definitely very happy with this line and excited to see where it goes. And I hope you guys are too. And that will wrap things up for today. So thank you so much for being here. I really super appreciate it. I hope you will consider subscribing if you are so inclined. And that you have a really great rest of your day. Bye for now.